Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If your dream is to become a data analyst or a data scientist, then cracking the SQL interview is a very important stage for attaining your dream job role. Myself, Emily Prasad, I'm a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining all the various questions asked in top companies which are available at LeadCode platform. All my code solutions for the questions available in LeadCode platform are answered in my channel. The solution for that is there in my GitHub repository. The link for that is available in the chart description below. In addition to that, all the questions which are there in my channel I have segregated into five playlists, namely easy, medium and hard depending on the difficulty of the question. The premium level subscription questions of lead code as premium playlist questions and all the questions combined into one single playlist as all SQL, namely by the ascending order of sequence in the lead code platform. Let's see the question which we are trying to solve it today. It is type medium, question number 1468, calculate salaries. Okay. They are given a salaries table which is consisting of company ID, com employee ID, employee salary, salary. The combination of both of them is the primary key. What they are telling? Write an SQL query to find the salary of employees after applying taxes. Okay. Round the salary to nearest integer. Okay. The tax rate is calculated for each company based on the following criteria. 0% if the maximum salary of employee in the company is less than th okay, 1000. 24 if the maximum salary in the company is 10,000. Okay. 49 if it is greater than okay between 1000 to 10,000 it is that okay if it is bit greater than that it is 49 percent okay they have given some input table let's see it If you see, there are three companies, respectively company 1, company 2, and company 3, okay. From company 1, what is the maximum salary? If you see, it is, uh, okay, 20, th this guy has the highest salary, okay. From company 2, who has the highest salary? 700, okay. From company 3, who has the highest salary? 100 something, okay, 7, 7, this guy has the highest salary, right? Now, what they said, if the company has the maximum salary less than 1000, there will be no tax, okay? Means 100 rupees is he is earning, he will get 100 rupees, no tax will be there. For 300, he will get 300 rupees, 400, he will get 400 rupees, 700, 700 rupees he get. Second condition what they said, if it is between 1000 to 10,000, 24% tax. If you see, it is how much? 21,000. So it is not there in range. Second is 1000 to 10,000 rupees. So it is not in range. This is also, okay, this is there in that range. 77,000 comes under this. 7,777 comes in this range. Then what they said, 24% tax, right? means let's say you brought something for 100 rupees it will be 1 minus 0 0.24 tax okay so you will be getting for 76 rupees similarly what we need to do or in short we can do that into 0 0.76 which is 1 point 1 minus 0 0.24 0 0.76 okay so, so respectively we need to multiply in 0 0.76 we will get 1672 this into 0 0.76 you will get 2508 this into 2 point, uh, 0 0.76 you will get this one similarly there is this third range 21,000 it is above 10,000 
what they said it is greater than 10,049 percent tax 49 tax means let's say 100 rupees is there 1 minus 0 0.49 percent tax so it will be 51 rupees he got it so what we need we need to multiply into 0 0.51 200 into 0 0.51 10,020 similarly this into 0 0.51 this into 0 0.51 okay clear so what we need to do we need to get the maximum salary from this range okay let's create a column which calculates maximum for each company then what we'll check we will check whether the maximum range is following this category if it is that we will multiply by employee into either 1 or either 0 0.76 or 0 0.51 let's write the code for that from salaries what we want all the columns we want so I will keep select company ID employee ID employee name salary comma we want max of salary over each company ID so I will partition by company ID let's run it see for each category we got the highest salary let's call it something as max so MX let's call it MX so which each particular category we got it now what will let's call it as some CTE one Now from this CT1 table, what I want, select company ID I want, employee ID I want, employee name I want, but their salary will be depended by this MX value, right? So case when MX is less than, uh, how much they said, okay, less than 1000. Then it should be called salary when it is okay, MX, it should be greater than or equal to 10,000. Then salary into as I told 0 0.76. If anything, nothing is matching, this will become automatically greater than 10,000 else salary into 0 0.51 okay let's end this statement let's give some alias what is alias for this okay salary let's run this statement Okay, they don't want employee ID, it won't employee name. And they want to round off these numbers if you see it. So round. They don't want any decimal digits, so I'll keep comma zero. So it should be coming after comma and after this is an alias thing so it's this is CT1. Sorry, this is salary. This is CT1. Okay, it got accepted. Let's submit it. Okay, our solution has been successfully accepted by the platform. Thanks for watching my video. 
If you want more detailed explanations like this, please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends or colleagues who are waiting for a data analyst or a data scientist interview. Just complete all the 230 questions which are there in my platform. Just be disciplined. Complete all the things. Keep practicing. Keep working harder. One day you will be able to crack your SQL round. Thanks for watching.